What's going on guys? It's your boy Young HVAC and if you clicked on this video then you're about to see a video of me and Brian swapping out a transformer. The reason that we're changing out this transformer is because this tenant has a thermostat that depends on the 24 volts coming from the common and in this case the thermostat is not turning on so at first me and Brian figured that something the unit was doing wrong that may have been tripping a breaker we go and we check the breaker and nothing's tripping but the thermostat's still off so we climb up in the attic and it turns out that the transformer is getting the 120 volts going into it but it's not converting that 120 into the 24 volts that's needed in order to constantly give power to the thermostat the obvious issue appeared to be the transformer and in this case it was so without further ado let's jump straight into the video All right, I'm just gonna double check the voltage. I'm working on a unit, me and Brian, we're working on a unit and it's one of these super old schools where there's no breaker on this air handler. So we turned off the, uh, well, there's no disconnect on the air handler. So we flipped the breaker downstairs in the office and we're here because they have a um, wireless thermostat. But it is not working the way that it needs to. And when we check voltage to all of our terminals, thermostat terminals, we check voltage to all of our thermostat terminals and what they weren't getting enough volts so you know the wireless thermostats they depend on a common to power it so the thermostat keeps cutting off or not staying on because the transformer is dying out or it's, you know, it's acting janky. So what we're doing now is we are changing the transformer. You can see this transformer, it's probably from before I was born. There's two different screw sizes. <laughs> These things are rigged, but yeah, so that thermostat counts on the transformer to send it that constant juice via the common to keep it, keep it on. So we're gonna cut out this old school fusey. When we're done, we'll put a 15 amp in that bad boy. Damn. I don't think this was a fuse, it was a door switch. What is it, a fucking doorbell? Nah, it is a fuse, I think. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Doorbell. Alright, take that off. Yeah. So this is a kind of a kind of a mixture of how to train a transformer and when to train a transformer. <laughs> Look, this one's too skinny. Ah, oh, this is the only flathead on this one, huh? No, you gotta pull the hole out. This out? Yeah. 
There you go. Shout out to Klein, 11 and, 11 and Wheezy. All right, so pretty much what I'm doing now, I'm just disconnecting anything connected to the transformer. Feel free to take pictures if you need to. I'm gonna cut this off because I'm gonna use it. Uh, we're not gonna be able to use it, huh? Uh, just gonna have to wrap it around. Nah, yeah, we could use it. Just, I don't know, maybe. But the, yet again, what if the wire is damaged? Nah, yeah. Uh, Hit it with the drill or whatever. So we disconnected the low voltage, just two wires. Then over here, we have this terminal block. Is this called a terminal block? Would you call it that? Uh, yeah. I guess you can call it that. Pretty much this is power in. So this is power into. Uh, fuck. <laughs> this is power into the transformer. So 120 going into the transformer. Do you have these? Have what? I'm like these kind oh, of. Shit, there's a lot. Oh, fuck. Yeah. No, I don't got those. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to crush it. <clears throat> so on here is two blacks. Oh. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I get what I'm doing. Hot to hot, neutral, neutral. Yeah. All right, so there we have it. This is the old, this thing looks like something from an old hotel and it weighs like 50 pounds. <laughs> this is that new one, shout out Subco. So we're going with 120 volts right there. If you see, white is common, black is for 120 and so and so. But we're going for 120, so our other colors, red and orange, we'll cap them off. I'm doing a quick inst install easy. All right, so got the transformer in there. High voltage is all wired in. Now, just got to screw in. The low, low voli, low voltage. <laughs> oh, come on, little sweat. I'm trying to fish it. Like. Oh my God. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Use a magnet on this. What a little slut, man. Shit's not magnetic, my boy. <laughs> Fuck, this shit the magnet is the inside of here, fool. <laughs> no, it's on the tear. Bro. You sure it's not a fucking... I think this shit's covered up. I did it again. <laughs> I don't know where that shit's a woman in. This shit's trash. <laughs> Where's the needle on those? Fuck, I'm slut. Just hit a self tapper. <laughs> <laughs> So transformers all in there, high voltage on this side and low voltage. And then we took out that old school fuse and put a five amp, did a little bit of finessing there, but start a fuse, low voltage fuels and got everything hooked up. This older unit, this is where the thermostat is actually going in. Just thermostat wires there. 
and they're also being shared with this Poland tower for a wireless thermostat. So we're gonna hit the breaker and then see if it cuts on. Before it wouldn't cut on at all. And we diagnosed it as a low voltage issue. Do you turn on the breaker? Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Check the, the bottom breaker, right? Yeah. It's like in the main entrance. Is it on? Yeah. We're gonna check it. Oops. All right. Okay, let me just check if it's on up here. Not up here, it's on here. Yeah. Is the thermostat on? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, all right. All then. right, we got voltage. All right. All right. So, we have. Okay. So the breaker is flipped on. Now I'm gonna double check again by, because keep in mind, this unit has no disconnect. So at any time, I can get shocked if I'm not careful. So just gonna check. We are live now. All right, so now we're gonna jump the air handler and we'll see if it cuts on matter of fact you want to check if the vulture just do the same or well even if we jump all oh, right yeah, yeah, yeah. i just go ahead should we hit g have it this unit is cutting back on people at first it wouldn't cut on at all man this thing's old look where we at <laughs> my boy Brian <laughs> dying up in here where him this commercial attitude Getting it done. One of them? I'm gonna get that on. Uh... You see a better like that? Yeah, that's good. Like that? Yeah. All right, so at first we were getting like 22 volts, 19 volts, when they should have been reading a strong 24. We put that new transformer in that bad boy, and now it's working. Let's get it. It's your boy on a sack, something different. All right, there you guys have it. It's your boy Young HVAC, and I just changed out a transformer in a super old unit. And I think I might have stated that there was a wireless thermostat, but I have to correct myself. The thermostat has wires, but it depends on the power from the common in order to power up, in order to stay powered. So the transformer wasn't sending enough volts to keep that bad boy, enough volts to keep that bad boy powered up this whole time. So we had to swap it out and now everything is up and running. Thank you all for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Young HVAC and today has been a good day.